and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. Did you hear that? Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Did you? It's, we're scratching. If you're here, you don't like me being here. Make it no. Really? Yeah. Did you hear that? I did. Yeah. Tonight we investigate a farmhouse over 400 years old in Elland, Halifax. Previously known as the Great House, join us as we delve deep into Fleece Inn. Paranormal activity is not uncommon here, and in the late 1700s, a group named the Thumpers used the fleece for their meetings. The Thumpers believed that the way to heaven was to jump up and down as furiously as they could. And with all a frenzied movement, a certain chair would jump about. It is also believed that a man went to Ellen Market, and there he defrauded another local man who chased him through Westgate to the Fleece Inn, where a fight broke out. One of the men was killed, and the bloodstains were found on the wooden staircase. These bloodstains have tried to be removed on many occasions, however always reappear when the woodwork has dried. The grounds are also home to a headless ghost wearing an old leathery coat that, according to legend, takes his seat on a carriage pulled equally by headless horses. We now meet Christine in the bar area, owner of the Fleece Inn, to find out what paranormal activity has been occurring here. Christine? Yes. In this area, what's been reported? What, have you experienced anything or has any of the guests experienced anything? Okay, there's been lots of um, reports over the years, particularly in this area. Um, we've had reports, especially from parents, telling us that their children have been spoken to by a couple of... Um, well, they always say it's an old man, but from the reports it's two. It sounds like it's two. Right. Uh, one of them is somebody who's quite sharp with the children who tells them off, um, an, an oldish sort of guy. But the other one is quite a benevolent guy, and the kids often describe him as wearing a dress, yeah. uh, a long dress like a lady with a gold belt on. Um, so whether that's a different and thing altogether. Yeah. Have you ever seen them? I've never seen them personally. <laughs> you get a very strong feeling as we have actually nicknamed him the grumpy old man yeah. Yeah. down here. You do sometimes when you've come when they come down in the evenings to turn the lights off and close the pub up. You can feel that he's watching you and he doesn't yeah. really want you here. As I said, there's a little girl as well right. that I feel... Um, I feel her sense... I sense her quite strongly. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I've ever seen her. Yeah. But, if you know what I mean, just at the edge of your peripheral vision... Yeah. So you've caught the image of this girl? Something really bright. She's yeah. either got really blonde hair or she's wearing white, or she's like a bright light. And she's small, I'd say eight, nine year old. And I don't know why, um, somebody was once talking, in a similar situation to this, talking about her, and they were saying her name was Mary, and it came into my mind to call me Eleanor. Who is the spirit man who has been seen by children? And will the child spirit Eleanor be here tonight? Christine now takes us upstairs to the room to tell us more. Christine, this is your bedroom. Yes. What can you tell us about this room? Um, apart from the fact that it's quite a nice, warm, cosy room, yeah. uh, there is actually, um, I get the sense that there is something in here, mm -hmm. particularly from this area. Okay. Um, I don't know what is something about the cupboard yeah. that just draws me. Uh, you feel, I feel anyway, when I'm laid in bed at night, that somebody's watching me. Oh, um, but more of a watching over rather oh, than right. anything. Malevolence. So, so nothing nasty. Nothing, nice. nothing nasty. But it's sometimes when you're on your own in a room, it, it's freaky. I know that I'm not alone. Yeah. And it can be a little bit freaky. Yeah. Uh, a couple of times I've actually been laid in bed and I felt a stroke down my arm. Your arm. How did you react to that? 
Well, the first time it happened, I thought, oh, that's odd, the quilt must have moved. And then I thought, no, it didn't. And then a couple of nights later, it did it again. Oh. So I said, thank you, I'm going to sleep. I'm fine, yeah. thank you. Yeah. But it, it was a definite stroke down my, down my arm. Right, so this is a bedroom where historically there's been uh, a little bit of activity. Right. Um, toys have been reported as a child's bedroom. Toys right. have been reported as being moved. Okay. And the child saw the toys move. Yeah. So a trap was set just to see. You know, yeah. Uh, with the toys laid out on a, a bench covered in flour. Yeah. The door was locked, went out for the day, and when we came back, there were actually trail marks Move. in the flower. The, some of them were only so much, some of them were fractional, some of them were big. Did um, you record it? No, unfortunately oh. not. Unfortunately <laughs> not. No. It's always a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause it was just more of a test that we did. Yeah. Just, just to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just to see what. And, that's what happened. happened. Yeah. How do you personally feel in this room? I quite like this room. Yeah, nice feeling. Yeah, I think it's a nice feeling in this room. It would seem that a few different entities could be haunting the fleece. What will tonight's psychic medium Gary feel sense? So Gary, we're at the fleece in in Elland. Yep. It's our first time we've ever been here. Are you sensing as you've come into this building for the first time any um, spiritual beings, any entities that are residing here? Yeah, very interesting. As soon as I've come in, uh, I've felt I've been pushed uh, straight away as soon as I've come into the building and I'm picking up, as I was walking into the building, a few soldiers from oh, wow. way back, at least six or eight. Uh, and also when I've come into the building, I've felt like I've been cut and I just feel like there's a lot of a possibly misdemeanor going on here as well, so we'll try to get to the bottom of that. Nice. So you're sensing soldiers and somebody that's been cut? Yeah, okay. definitely. And also I'm feeling uh, as if I was ready to cough and uh, obviously I would have had internal bleeding and stuff like that as well. So just ask that to step back for a little bit and then we'll see if we can pick up on some of the other energies that's going on in Are the you picking up on any, any names? Uh, not directly at the moment, yeah. uh, but as again, as we get into the investigation, I'll, I'll ask the building to come alive and give us all the information and that's, that's the way we'll work as we're going around. So Gary, Christine, the owner, she said um, she sees a little, there's a little girl that appears when people are eating the food. Do you think she'll come through tonight for us? I certainly hope so. I'm uh, feeling as we'll take the lights down later on and we'll get the ambiance of the room just settling down and then hopefully we'll try and work with her, ask her to come forward and give us some information and if she can show herself or manifest, that'd even be better. Yeah, yeah. Are you picking up any energy, Gary, of this, um, this child that might be reported here? Is she showing herself to you or she giving you any feeling that she's here? With the little girl I'm going to ask her to come in really really close. Uh, I do feel that somebody will be affected tonight and as again I will ask that to just not be too strong, I'll ask it to blend so it's not overpowering but I do feel that somebody's going to struggle possibly with the breathing later on yeah and I just just a little bit wary of that at the moment, but we'll just see. Because of the girl? It's not affecting. overpowering, yeah. So right. sometimes I'm getting a little bit of palpitation, stomach's going, and my heart's starting to flutter as well. So I'm just think the building's ready to start giving us part of its history. So, what you're feeling there is that a possibility of how she died? In with the death and all that. I haven't got to the depth of that, but what I'm waiting for is to come fully forward and give us the information. Yeah. So I don't want to surmise on that, I want her to really come fully forward and give us her story of her life, what's gone on, the chapters and everything. But I do feel really, really shaken at the moment, so I know there's being affected around the energies at the moment, what's going on in this room. Right, okay. Gary, this is now the master bedroom. Yeah. Um, before we uh, go into anything, are you sensing any energy, any spiritual, um, anything happening. As I've walked up the stairs, I'm getting a lot of smell of smoke yeah. in and around, and I just felt that's just gone right round the team and wrap, wrapped it all around us as we've walked up. And as soon as I got to the door just outside there, I felt like my shoulder had been dislocated and pushed, really? pushed backwards and like in a frozen position there because all the nerves are trapped and I felt yeah. like it was more frozen and pushed back and yeah. uh, and I, again I feel some of the team was feeling that as, as the camera crew were coming up as well. So wow. 
these these feelings who could be causing these feelings i think it's a natural injury of somebody working on the land and again we've mentioned shepherd a few times tonight so i'll run with that and if it's somebody that comes in around and gives us that information we'll try and get some confirmation so the shepherd well. the shepherd's quite a big energy in it, this pub isn't it he certainly um, is yeah. yeah but it could be again combined in of energies as we're walking around we're picking up on other uh, souls and energies and spirits as well so we'll, we'll try and decipher which is the strongest energy around this this location okay. okay are you sensing anything in this room right now Again, youngsters, youngsters, yeah. young, there's about two or three youngsters as well at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but again, skipping and hiding, hide and seek, hide and seek, hide and seek. Okay. Do you get an age on the youngsters? They're, they're very small, these are about four, three, four, five, oh. around about that period. So they'd be causing mischief. Yeah. They'd be causing mischief, and I am expecting a little bit of mischief tonight as well. Really? Yeah. Okay. Again, by the door, I am sensing three children there, and they're doing the Ringa Ringa Roses as well, and I am expecting mischief. Brilliant. Gary had sent some interesting spirits. Will they make an appearance on Ghost Dimension tonight? So tonight proves to be a good night. We've got shepherds, kids. Yeah, and there's quite a lot of activity around this floor, this yeah. area, and also potential activity in the um, food store. Yeah. So I think we should send off and let Gary investigate one of these areas where he feels Drawn the most to. energy, yeah. yeah and we should investigate and see what we can kill that. Sounds good to me. Let's crack on. Right, good evening, folks. Just doing a vigil now on my own around the room. I'm just going to sit in this room as well, which is the master room. Again, it might look like uh, the light's just settling down now. I've got a rent pod in the room and I've also got a trigger object on the bedside table. We've come into the bar to see what spirits we can get. There is plenty behind the bar, but we're looking for the ghost attack. Actual spirits. We've got a REM pod here. And, and a drink. A drink there, because we're trying to encourage the spirits to come to, towards the bar, towards the REM pod. So we don't interfere with the REM pod. We're going to go off and investigate, see if we can encourage some of these entities to come. <laughs> yeah. We've had lots of activity tonight, um, so we're hoping it's going to penetrate down into the bar um, and show themselves to us because we've had yeah. lots of knocks and bangs and, and, um, and what have you. We're going to go over to the uh, window where it's yes. been reported that the little girl. have been. Yeah, and the man. Yes. The, the and the man. man, yes. Is anybody here? Did you hear that? That was... Yeah. That was loud. Was it? Are you here? Can you communicate to us? Even if it's, if it's via whistling, we don't mind. Any sort of communication is good communication. What's your name? Who are you? <coughs> are you the man that came here? Mm. Oh my God, I that, that was behind us. That was a yes. Yeah, <laughs> that was behind us. Deep voice. Thank you very much. Should we go over and have a look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's DJ do you know box. where it was? Yeah. But well, I thought it was over here. In this little hole. Oh, it's by the hole. Yeah. Yes. Are you standing in the doorway? Do you hear that? What was that? That was like a little girl saying yes. Yeah. It's in this corner here. Right in this corner. A lot of like, rippling noises. Pan around the room for you. Okay, swing it back in. Come on, spirit energies. Pod on the bed as well. Move the teddy, please. Come on, give a sign you're here. Moving away, turn them around. Like a shadow. Right over there. Like a shadow. Come forward and speak to us. 
So as soon as we come in here, we've instantly got action. Instantly. I think my camera's gone blurred as well. I'll zoom it out, see if it works. It's not zoomed out in. No. Putting on your hand. There we go, it's better. Yeah, we, we instantly we're getting responses when we ask. So that's a good start. Can you make a noise or walk above us yeah. on this roof? Walk above me and Bex. How old are you? Six. That's what I just got in my head. Six. Six. I don't know whether it's true or not. I'm not a medium. We've got the rampart on the bar. Go towards it, it's got lights and it lights up if you go towards it. Pretty patterns. Is this your favourite area to play in as a child? Is your name Mary? We're not we're not here to harm you. We just want to communicate That's with you. You okay? What are you seeing? Just on the door over there. Yeah. Looks like a figure. Let's go over and check it out. It's gone. Look. Look. See on the door, it looks like a figure. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, let's go over. Hey, you stand by. It's gone. It's gone. I ah, saw. It's gone. I saw. It disappeared. That was an apparition. That was? That was an apparition. We're not ha are here to harm. That was just a little bit higher than the door handle. After reviewing this footage in the edit, what we believed at the time was an apparition on the camera was nothing more than a light reflection. Wow! Can you... Can you walk above us? Yeah. <sighs> tap. Yeah. Yeah. Straight away, tap. Walk above us. <coughs> it's me. Walk above us so we can hear you. You heard that? Yeah, I did, but can you pick that up on camera? Yeah, that was low and it sounded like, oh, no. Are you over there? If you're here, set off the REM pad on the bar. Touch that device on the bar next to the drink. Make it go off. As I asked for the spirit to interact with the REM pod on the bar, we caught an orb head straight to it. Orbs are believed to be the first form of a spirit manifestation. Was this the spirit attempting to show themselves? If you're here, set off the REM pad on the bar. Touch that device on the bar next to the drink. Make it go off. I think we should head upstairs. Yeah. See if we can encourage some right. more activity. Good idea. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to come upstairs and we're going to see if you can do something for us upstairs. Manifest. Whistle, bang, not cough. Say yes, say no. Anything is good. Wow, wow, wow. Keep coming in close. Getting loads of orbs coming in from behind me now. Come in, join us. Let's go upstairs and see what we can get. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear that? As soon as we're walking up these stairs, bang, 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 bang. Yeah. <coughs> Not my heels either. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, we're upstairs now, and um, let's call out. Yeah, because if anything's walking, 
this floor. We'll hear it. Because yeah. as you can hear, yeah. it's creaky. Keep really still. Come closer. Down the stairs. Yeah. Let me peek this over. No deal these stairs. No, oh, sure can't. <coughs> Closer to us. No way. No way. Oh my God. That over there. Do you hear it again? Yeah, that over there off camera. That's where Gary said you're going to get activity. Really? That was off camera. We didn't record it. It's in his corner. Oh, did you hear that? A male voice, yeah. Growling. Yeah. Oh. As we're going closer. Come on. Are you here? Are you here with us now? What is down there? Just a door. Yeah, just a door. Something. Let's go back to the middle and see. It seems when we walked away from it, it had more guts to do something. So if we stand here. <coughs> if I video over there, we ask again. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get it to do it. And did you hear the female voice saying, no? Yeah. No. yeah. <sighs> You're biting over there. Yeah. We mean you no harm. Come back. You hear that? What can he hear? <sighs> like breathing. Raspy breathing. Seems to be going this way, isn't yeah. it? Are you here? No. Did you hear that? Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Did like, you? We're scratching. It was like a, a scratch, and I don't know where it came from. I'm pointing at the stairs. Do it again. Go on. Do that noise for us again. I pointed the stairs again. Okay. Can you do that noise for us again? Where's it coming from? Oops, there, there. At the back now, it's at the back. Right there. Let's go over and have a look. Yeah, did you hear that? What did you somebody's hear? Somebody's walking upstairs behind us. Let's have a lesson. As we're walking, somebody's walking. Can you hear it? Yeah. Somebody's on the top stair. Can you hear it? Yeah. Did you hear that? I did. Yeah. It's like somebody's arrived. Oh, and as that happened, there was a big orb that flew past us. Once again, orbs have appeared from nowhere. Clearly, a spirit has joined us. Was this the young girl or the deviant male? Oh, and as that happened, there was a big orb that flew past us. What are you feeling? I'm, I'm not... I'm feeling cold over here. What are you feeling? I'm feeling quite relaxed. Did you hear that? Yeah, 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 that was a man. Did you hear that again? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that? I don't know. I don't know. Come closer to us. Tell us your name and where you're from. Cluck. I heard. Somebody say Pete. Pete. Over there. Pete. I heard Pete. Pete. What a man. Is your name Pete? Tap tap behind you. Tap tap and then. Yeah. Tap tap. Yeah. Did I hit the nail on the head? Is your name Pete? Am I right in here thinking I heard you? That lights back again. Come. 
downstairs. Okay. It seems like we are surrounded by spirits tonight. A, a lot of them are, are shy. <coughs> but, yeah. but then you've got your spirits like Pete, and he's quite active. He's quite vocal. Oh, <coughs> Brilliant, it really is. Couldn't ask for better. Yeah. Can you do one more massive thing for us? Yes. Oh yeah. my god, oh, no right, way. That was two people. Yeah, there was a, a man and a child laugh. That there was, was a, a child a laugh. Yes, and a laugh. And a laugh. No way. I, no. 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 Yeah. God, tonight's rife. It hasn't let us down. It it's really not let us hasn't. down at all. It's been one. I know. Did you hear that? Just keeps coming. Like yeah. A... Just keeps coming. That actually sounded like one of those air fresheners that automatically yes, go off. Yes, there's nothing here. And that was a big bang. It's a door. That was a door. No. Okay, let's check this out. I'm a little bit scared. I like the way you make me move. You go first. Yeah, we'll see. You. You'll be okay. Did you hear that? It was a woman saying, hello? Hello? Oh, let's check the bar. Yes. No way. What? As I said, let's check the bar. There was a tap. Let's check the bar. No. Our investigation in the bar had not disappointed us, and it appeared that plenty of spirits were around us. The activity also had affected Gary, our medium, with the same spirit orbs we had encountered. Sean and I split up and head off into our lone vigils to see what else we can encounter. I've got the ovulus, so if anything is um, said to me, I'll let you know what it says, and hopefully we can get some activity going. Okay, Tim, if there's any spirits here, can you make a noise for me? If there's a man here that's been active in this building, that's been moving objects, can you let me know you're here? Or if there's a child here, can you let me know? Come to, come to this device and speak to me. If you say a word to it, manipulate it, it will communicate with me via you. Give me some sort of indication. Is somebody here, please? Can you move some of these knives that are on the side? Can you flick one of them off? I've got a bit of equipment, which I'm going to set up in a minute. I'm going to put it all down. EMF meter, so we'll see if that goes off. I have a ball that flashes. Just see it flashing, I think. I hope you can see it flashing. Yeah, you can see it flashing. I'm going to put that on the floor. Um, the teddy, I'm going to put that over here. I've got a teddy. He's not sitting up, it's not playing ball with me. Right, all the lights have been turned off upstairs. He moves something in this kitchen. The lights you can see that are on. The emergency lights. I 
I'm going to go into this room a bit further down and see if I can get them to encourage. Um, I'm going to go into this room a bit further down and see if I can encourage the activity. Can you communicate with me? I know you're here. Do something. Knock one of those boxes off, please. I'm going to set the teddy down and hopefully that will fall over or something. And I also have a singing bowl which I love, the REM pod. I might set the REM pod up a little bit later though just because I want to get on with me alone to be honest. So this is the kids bedroom. Um, this I must say the lights are all on off up here. And it feels quite nice, it feels quite inviting and warm. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the door. Just to shut everything off. And I'm going to call out, sitting on the bed. Is there anybody in here with me? Anybody at all? I'm Bex, and I'm here to play with you. And we can play Ringa Ringa Roses, and we can play anything you want. As I say, I feel really comfortable in here at the minute. I can hear knocks and bangs. Hello? Is there anyone here with me? I'm going to pan round the room so you can see what I can see. <coughs> okay, so we have the door. I'm just going to pan around. It's a really empty room. There's my teddy. Okay, I'm in the room. Are you able to shut the door? Can you shut the door? I'm in the room. Is there any children here? Is there a child? There was, there was a little voice then, a little voice. It was, uh, do you know what it sounded like? It said, hello, hello. Are you here? Can you make yourself known to me? Speak to this device. I'm just going to see if I can see what that noise was. I'm sure that was a pumps. That had to be the pumps. Is anybody in here with me? Come on. I'm friendly. I don't want to harm you. I just want to play. That's all. Okay. Instantly. Instantly, on command, if you like. When I said, I'm friendly, I just want to play. I heard tap tap behind me. And there's a lot of en encounters of people saying things behind them. People behind them, spirits behind them, feeling like they're being watched and overcrowded and stuff. So it's, it's funny that I'm getting noises behind my head, to be honest. Can you see anything? Is there anything there? Do I need to move or run or scream? <laughs> Just spin it round again, just in case I miss anything. <coughs> One thing I don't want to do is catch something paranormal and you guys miss it. So I know you guys are just looking at a blank room, however, I like to show you what I'm seeing just in case. 
we catch anything. Okay, if you're here and you can reach the handle, or if you're an older spirit, a man, a woman, can you possibly move that handle for me? Pull it down and open the door. you're here and you don't like me being here, make it known you don't like me being here. Otherwise I'll stay here all night. Knock on this door. Okay, that was weird. I asked for the door to, I knocked on the door and it knocked back. And when I went in there, there was no one there. Can you do it again for me, please? Or even open the door. Whoa, okay, something was thrown. And he came from in the room. I'll pan in again. Can you throw that object again that you threw at me? when I'm there. It's like he doesn't want me to see it. But I'm sure I just saw something go across the camera. As Sean sensed the presence that he felt did not want to see him, an orb appears to float next to him. Sean was not alone, and something did not want him there. It's like he doesn't want me to see it. But I'm sure I just saw something go across the camera. Rempard is set. I'm ready to go. Okay. okay, instantly when I set that Rempard up, um, I felt like I saw a black shadow to the corner of my eye. Here. And I thought, oh, the door's open. Did you hear that? Bang, 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 bang. What could that have been? Ghost? Spirit? I think we're going to stay in this room for a minute. If anything else paranormal happens outside the room, then I'll go and inspect it. But I want, I want, to, I want something to happen in here, to be honest. So that's why I'm staying. <coughs> Let's pan you round again. Pray the rim pod goes off. Can you come and touch the device on the bed? It's got two long sticky things out of it. And if you touch the sticky things, they'll make a nice, pretty pattern on the top, and all colourful lights will come on. Can you touch it for me? It's quite fun. You can have a lot of fun with that. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm a friendly person. Like I said, my name's Bex. Are you going to tell me yours? Can you see me? Can you tell me what date it is if you know it? Or what day? Hello? What was that? Can you knock at this door again for me? 
throw something at the door. Knock at the door. Hello? It said tin. I heard a thud. The ovulus said tin. Was you banging something tin down here? He was trying to keep me away as well. Turning the camera back, another dink. Can you do another one, but really loud for me? Really, really loud one. Okay, I'm going to go now. And I appreciate and thankful for all the noises you gave me. I don't think... <gasps> tap, tap. Thank you. I don't think you're an <coughs> I don't think you're an older spirit. I think you're a child or children. And I thank you for communicating me with me tonight like this. It's lovely. It's lovely the, to the fact that <coughs> it's lovely. Tap tap again. <laughs>